fit formulation using piercing square method as you know piercing square is the most common method used when formulating diet or ration it is used in calculating good protein content in feed using two ingredients it is called a piercing square because it requires drawing a square when calculating using this piercing square in this presentation we will be using three ingredients while taking into consideration the fixed ingredients needed in this feed this method will not only allow you to calculate the crude protein content of your feed but formulating a complete diet and the question goes thus formulate 24 percent crude protein ration with meat gnc and fish meal why the fixed ingredients are bone meal 5%, wheat offer 10%, and other ingredients 10%. And less protein mixture for variable ingredients contain GNC and fish meal at the ratio of 4 ratio 1. And as we said before, we use PSN square method to calculate feed ingredients using two ingredients. We calculate the crude protein content using two ingredients and since we have three ingredients that's why we join two together using the ratio of four issue one and that's gnc and fish meal which are the main source of crude protein so we join together using ratio four issue one so it makes this one and given that the wheat offer has 25 percent crude protein bone meal has 80 percent crude protein DNC has 45% crude protein, fish meal has 68% crude protein, and maize has 9% crude protein. Bone meal, as we said, has 80% crude protein. That's 5 times 80 divided by 100. So, and we know that 80 divided by 100 will give us 0 0.80, which is equal to 4.0. With offer, as 10 percent and the crude protein content of wheat over is 25 percent that's 25 divided by 100 that's 0 0.25 that's 10 times 0 0.25 equals us 2.5 and all that ingredients give us 10 percent since they don't have crude protein context that's why we put 0, 0.0 and the addition of 4.0 2.5 and 0, 0.0 give us 6.5 and the addition of 5 10 and 10 that's 5 percent 10 percent and 10 percent of the fixed ingredients give us 25 percent Fixed ingredient crude protein contribution will give us 6.5 as we calculated up here. Why the variable ingredient crude protein contribution will be 25, 24, sorry. We know we are calculating for 25% crude protein content. So since the fixed ingredient is already giving us 6.5% crude protein, so we have to remove the 6.5 from the 24 from the initial 24 we want to calculate. So that's 24 divided by minus 6.5, we give us 17.5. Since the fixed ingredient is 25%, and we know when we are formulating a feed, you have to formulate to give you 100%. That's 100% when formulating feed. And to get the variable ingredients, what the variable ingredients will contribute to the feed is to be 100 minus 25 percent, which the fixed ingredient has, has already contributed. So we give us 25 percent. And since we are calculating the percentage we are given before for the crude protein context is based on 100 percent. And since the fixed ingredient has already given us 25, and we already subtracted 100 from uh, 25.400, we give us 7.75 percent. So we have to balance up the crude protein, we put crude protein content will also change. So that is 100 over 75. That's 75 percent of variable ingredients times 17.5. You know where we got this 17.5? That's this 25, 24 minus 6.5. We give us 17.5. So the answer gives us 23.33. And the CP of the mixture, we know we are we said GNC and fish meal at the ratio of 4 ratio 1. So that's 4 times 0 0.45. This 0 0.45 is, you know, we said GNC will give us 45% crude protein. So that's 4 times 0 0.45 will give us 1.80. Why fish meal is 1 times 0 0.65? 
and we say 0 0.65 is 65 divided by 100 we know it's in percent you have to convert it from percentage that's the 5 divided by 100 so it will give us 0 0.65 again so the addition of 1.80 and 0 0.65 give us 2.45 and to get the percentage of the mixture you know we are mixing gnc and fish milk together we have to convert this 2.45 to percentage so that will be 2.45 divided by 5 times 100 you give us 49.0 so as i said when we started this presentation that in solving this percent square we have to draw a square and at the top left hand side you put the lowest value, which is maize, and uh, is nine. The cool protein content of maize is nine. While at the left hand side, the, the bottom left hand side, you put the mixture, which is forty nine, and you know how we got the forty nine. So, at the center of the square, that's where you put the expected cool protein content. That's twenty three point three, and you subtract the lowest from the is and you know that 49 let's start from the mixture 49 is higher than 23.3 .3. so 49 minus 23.3 .3 will give us 25.67 and we know that 9 is lower than 23.3 .3. so 23.3 .3 minus 9 will give us 14.33 the addition of 25.67 and 14.33 will give us 40 the addition of 25.67 and 14.33 will give us 40. And the, you surpass 40, uh, 9 from 49 will give, also give us 40. So we now calculate the percentage of maize and the mixture we needed in the, in the feed formulation. So it will be this 25.67. You know, at the top hand side of the square, we have maize facing 25.67 and the lower side of the square we have the mixture of 49 facing 14.33 so when calculating the content of these two we are making use of miss as nine percent contributing 25.67 to the field and means that and the mixture of 49 contributing 14.33 so when we can want to calculate it it will be 25.67 divided by 40 times 75 and you know how we got this 75 that's 100 minus 25 which we calculated in the previous slide so we give us 48.33 and to calculate for the mixture it should be 14.33 divided by 40 times 75 we give us 26.87 since the mixture contains two ingredients and we have to calculate for this ingredient separately so we have to split it up giving each ingredient its own contribution so and we know that maize contributes just one percent so it should be one over five you know we, we are we said gnc and fish milk are contributing for ratio one why gnc contributes four um fish milk contributes one so to split it up it should be one over five times 26.87 we give us 5.37 for fish meal and for the gnc to be 4 over 5 times 26.87 we give us 21.5 so we have to check if what we calculated is correct and to check since all our values are here so we can just times it by the percentage crude protein content so for maize since we said maize contributes 48.13 it will be 48.13 times 9 over 100 and we know now over 100 is 0 0.09 we give us 4.33 and for fish meal it will be 5.37 times 0 0.65 and we know 0 0.65 how we got 0 0.65 is 6 percent which is the cool protein contents of fish meal we equal to 3.49 and for the gnc 21.5 you know this when we splitted the mixture the contribution of GNC to the feed formulation is 21.5. 21.5 times 45 over 100, which is 21.5 times 0 0.45, which equals 9.68. And for the fixed ingredients, 
which is 25%. And we've already calculated the quiprotein content of the fixed ingredient in the when we started solving these questions, which is 6.5. So that's why we didn't show how we got the 6.5 indeed when checking. So this 6.5, that's why we put it here. So in addition of this 4.33, 3.49. 9.68 and 6.55 we give us the 24 percent crude potent context we need we 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 initially wanted to calculate so that's how we got this 24 percent crude protein and if you add this percentage together this for 6.33 5.37 and 21.5 then 25 of the fixed ingredient it gives us 100 which shows that what we calculated is correct. So this is how to calculate using Pearson square method while using three ingredients. Thank you for listening.